All right, my friends, welcome to another video. Starting this one in the dark. Uh, one thing I've learned about crappie, especially summer crappie, is that you almost have to catch them before the sun hits the water. It's like there is a window there, and crappie fishing is all about windows. There's a window there that's perfect right before the sun hits the water, and then when it does, they are just done. They stop biting. So that's why we're up at this hour. I've had a really hard time catching crappie this summer. Um, I've tried a lot because I got my own lure, a six cents curly clobber, perfect crappie bait in my opinion that I helped design. But uh, I've tried a whole bunch, but with the water being as hot as it is almost everywhere, basically in the States this summer, it's just been really, really difficult to make it happen. I've really been trying to get footage using my own lures and I've got a bunch, but I haven't really got any giants or nothing that I would consider is worthy of a video. But I really want to make it happen. I really want to make it happen on my lures. So we're going to put some time and effort into uh, trying to make it happen. I'm going to try some different spots. Um, today I'm driving to a, a dock that's kind of hidden, tucked away in this big lake. And um, one of my biggest previous crappie that I've ever seen came from there. And we're going to try there. I have really started thinking about giant crappie the same way a lot of people think about giant bass. You know, obviously a 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pound bass is a different species almost than a 2 or 3 or 4 pound bass in the same way that a 3 or 4 pound crappie is a way different animal than a 1 or 2 pound crappie. And I think it kind of comes down to those feeding windows. And um, today, on top of this dock, just got to be super quiet. You're not going to hear me talk much at all. But going to go spend some time fishing my lures. That's kind of, that's just exciting to me. And I'm just really stoked that I've, I've had so many people buy these lures. My subscribers sold six cents fishing completely out of these baits, which is just awesome, but they're back in stock now. The sunlight is about to come out and I've got my two casting setups in the back of my truck, which I can't wait to use. So we're gonna go see what happens, start my drive here. Thank you for watching. Got him. Okay. Well, that's fun that he took that. Yeah. That's that lure I made with six cents. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. Come here, fellas. Black crappie. Perfection. New turquoise. Is that a one and three quarter pound fish? There he is. Yes. Bass. Stinking little bass. Got him. Seems bigger. Goodness gracious. That is a giant. That is a giant. Oh, <laughs> he didn't really do much. <laughs> Crap. That's the biggest crappie of my life. <laughs> Look at it. It's, dude, I can't believe that. Look at that. Look how thick it is. Jeez. It's hard to fathom. It's insane. Dude. That is absurd. Oh my gosh. 
What is that? 18 inches plus? Something like that? All right, my friends, look at that. That is the biggest crappie of my life. Four pounds, 19 inches, absolutely absurd. What an absolute behemoth of a fish. Thing is so cool. Genetically, one in a million. That is crazy. We got one crappie, one bluegill, and then this absolute giant. Caught it out there on my own lure, the curly clobber. That thing is just unbelievable. I think it's really cool how much we can learn just by looking at this fish. One of the first things that you really notice is that for being a 19 inch crappie, it's not that tall. Its stomach is not that deep. And you can see right along its bottom fin there, it's almost a straight line. Which to me means that this fish has kind of started its decline. It might be past its prime. This fish could be 10, 12 years old, which is crazy. Another thing that makes me think that is, it's just that if the fish didn't really fight that hard. You know, it, it might have its last winter ahead of it right here. That is the crappie of a lifetime right there. Wow, it took off so good too. <laughs> There's something right there. There he is. Big old bluegill. What we got? Beautiful female bluegill. Not better. All right, my friends. Um, I know it looks like it wasn't that much work because there wasn't many fish caught in this video. Pretty short video, but it took a long time to get the bites that we got. But I mean, I don't care if one of them was that crappie. That thing was absolutely insane. You might have seen a video from me here a, a long time ago. We caught a bunch of crappie that time, and one big one, but this time it was only two crappie. But one of them was that absolute giant. I mean, when you think about that genetically, I mean, how many crappie get to be that size? One out of every million, one out of every five million, one out of every hundred thousand? I don't really know. I just know that that was a scary, scary big crappie, and hopefully I'll catch a bigger one in my life. But if not, I'm content with a 19 inch, four pound plus crappie. That thing was crazy. Thank y'all very much for watching. You know I appreciate it. Hopefully we can get some more crappie footage coming. But what I think is cool is that it happened on my lure. We caught some bluegill on that lure. We caught crappie on that lure. And that's my lure, the curly clobber. Curly clobber. I'll leave a link below. Check that bait out. That thing works awesome and it caught me my biggest crappie ever. Thank y'all for watching. You know I appreciate it.